Hello. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain how to uh, how to set up um, a channel, how to assign a channel uh, into a, into a trim a button. So, for example, uh, the T16 has uh, six uh, six trim buttons here, here, there, there, and there. And um, we can uh, we can assign actually uh, a channel output uh, for uh, each of uh, of these uh, these buttons. And um, <clears throat> I felt the need to do these uh, because I'm actually designing a, an airplane, uh, a new AV airplane. And uh, in this airplane, uh, I want to I want to have uh, something like the uh, the airliners uh, on the on the elevator system. So uh, where? Let me show you. So imagine, let's imagine that we have here uh, the elevator system. So uh, the stabilizer, and uh, and then the the elevator itself. And uh, how the airliners work is um, something like uh, when you want to trim uh, the elevator, all the elevator moves up and down uh, as, uh, as you apply uh, trim up and down. So uh, in, in my particular case, uh, I'll be using here uh, not in this one. This is uh, an old uh, an old piece that I've made some years ago. Uh, but uh, you, just to get the idea, I have I I'm gonna have a, a servo here um, to control this surface, this uh, surface here up and down to control the uh, the elevator uh, the elevator of uh, of uh, of the airplane, and then. Imagine that, uh, ah, and uh, this system will be uh, like a T-tail, uh, a T-tail uh, elevator. So, uh, and uh, inside, inside the uh, the rudder, uh, sort of speaking, I'm gonna have uh, a second servo that will control the 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 inclination of all this system. And for this, I will use. Um, let me put it there, and for that I will use uh, the trim. So basically, what I'm gonna do is, uh, as uh, as now and by default, uh, this trim it's uh, assigned directly uh, to this potentiometer and this one f to this one and so on. Um, I will disconnect on the software. On the configuration, I will disconnect this trim uh, from the elevator, okay, and I will assign it uh, into a channel to control the second servo uh, to uh, to trim all the all the assemble together. Okay, so let's jump into it. Uh, I have already uh, my radio already turned on, and I have here the uh, a small setup. So uh, this servo here will be the, the main elevator servo and this one will be uh, the servo that I'm going to use uh, just uh, at least for now uh, for, uh, for the trim uh, so to move all the surface all the elevator surface so trim and main elevator uh, as we can see if I move here so we have the main elevator and uh, if we trim what actually moves it's the same the same servo okay and but we want uh, to move this servo here so uh, just um, just to tell that uh, I'm gonna use this function with this uh, with this goal in particular, so uh, but this uh, this can be used in many other ways. Uh, so uh, as a as a precise potentiometer, whatever. And I'm gonna use this one. You can use uh, that one or that one, whatever. So uh, you decide which one 
uh, you want to use and uh, if you want to use if you need it all right so uh, i i i have to agree that this uh, this might be a, a function that is not often used so uh, and uh, but particular particularly to uh, to those who have uh, scale uh, airliners i think this uh, this function might be uh, might be uh, useful to to have and to to implement on their on their models so let's uh, jumper <laughs> into the menu and uh, let's start over so <clears throat> we're going uh, we're going to we are going to inputs and uh, let's create a new line here there i'm gonna call it uh, nothing just for now and uh, trim off ah uh, just be before that let's go to elevator not like this it's long press edit and uh, we we are going to uh, to to modify this from on to off because um, this being on means that uh, that this uh, this slider it's uh, directly associated with the elevator function okay so uh, I want to disengage one from the other uh, for that, uh, so we have here trim on, no, it will become, it will become off. All right, that's set. So now if I apply the trim, uh, the servo we will not react. Uh, go back and back. And now, uh, so as we have already created, so uh, let's add it, edit this uh, this thing. So source will be will be the T two. Let's look for it. T six. No, that's not. I don't want the six. T six. Yeah, it has a it has a, a name already. It's not shown as uh, ST2. It's shown as uh, elevator. But if you pay attention, the the symbol uh, before the LA, it's pretty much the representation of uh, of the switch itself. So, all right. But in this case, it is uh, by default uh, called uh, LA which means trim for elevator so that's the one we we want to use just uh, let me call it something trim elevator okay so that's done and now we go one step forward from inputs to mixers we will create a mixer here Again, just uh, all right. So again, source. Yes, the source will be uh, the input that we have just created before, uh, which is a potentiom uh, potentiometer. Right there, the symbol of the of a potentiometer, trim LA. All right. And uh, in here, that's not much to do. Let's uh, jump. All right. And uh, let's see if it works. And it works. So now let's see. Um, I'm, I will push it down. All right. We still have elevator there, and now we have this trim assigned to that servo. All the way up. Middle position. All the way down. That's beautiful. And to add just uh, just a little bit more of uh, reality to it, I'll 
try to do another another thing that it's slow it down by three seconds or yeah, I think three it's a pretty realistic reaction for this for this stream I think that's pretty much the time that it takes to, to react on real life on real airliners so let me see okay middle position <coughs> all right so that's it for now uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video I know the, this is um, this is something that uh, as I told, something that is not commonly used by most of you, but um, I I found it uh, useful at least for me because I, I really gonna need this uh, this function for um, uh, for the project for for the the airplane that I'm about to design right now, which we will gonna be uh, uh, quite big, not big, but medium medium size to two meters and a half. Uh, twin propeller motors, uh, aircraft for mapping and uh, s some other kind of, um, of missions. Alright, so thank you for watching, see you on the next one.